Captain America issue 13 sees Peggy access Strucker's mind map and the information she gleaned from his interrogation. Sharon texts her, learning she is still putting the pieces of Strucker's mind together to get the whole picture. Sharon asks her aunt when they are going to tell Steve she is alive, since it's wrong to keep him in the dark, but before Peggy can answer, there is an explosion. She knows what that means, telling Sharon that they are coming for her. Soon Steve arrives, telling Sharon that they are ready as they return to the Daughters of Liberty, learning that their main objective is to remind the world who Steve Rogers is, and then who Captain America is. Steve wonders why they are doing a PR mission and Sharon reminds him that Hydra ruined his reputation, but if PR doesn't suit Steve, he can call it what it really is, redemption. Sharon says that Tony will handle the intel while the others will be deployed when they need them, but this mission is personal for White Tiger. Steve is shown footage of the border where they are headed to deal with a group of migrant workers who are getting hassled by the local militia. Tiger says that they have been migrating for years and no one minded until recently and these people are being terrorized for trying to feed their families. Steve doesn't condone terror, but knows countries have borders and if they start condoning illegal activities, then they are no better than the militia. Tiger says that last she heard, Steve was wanted for murder and there is nothing more illegal than that, and besides, there is no law down by the border. Sharon says that the police aren't doing anything about it either, since they too are involved with harassment. Steve wonders what they are representing then and what they are fighting for, since at the moment the bad guys are just the ones they say are bad. Tiger says that's exactly it and Steve isn't comfortable with the mission and he tells them he is with them out of trust, but this isn't his way and he wants to make that clear. Soon they reach their mission point and Steve and Angela take up point in a building, hearing a chopper coming in with their militia, who begin firing their energy weapons on the escaping immigrants. They incapacitate the people, beating them, but Steve gets involved, using his new energy shield to take down the militia soldiers, protecting a small boy from them. As White Tiger takes out some soldiers on the rooftops, Steve takes out the rest of the soldiers, but soon some manage to get some of the people, teleporting away. Tiger says that they need to get after the choppers and Sharon and Tony are on it, piloting their VTOL in pursuit of the choppers, intent on following them back to their base. Their plan however is scrapped when the choppers all of a sudden cloak themselves, escaping into thin air. Steve and Angela get to tending to the injured, handing out food and water as Steve tells an injured woman that this happened because of ignorance and hate. Angela comes to relieve him, telling him Sharon has some intel for him. Contacting Sharon, Steve learns that some of the men who attack the people belong to the Watchdogs, a band Steve has tangled with before. At Peggy Carter's base, Nick Fury Jr. and his team breach in, soon confronted by Peggy, who takes out Nick and his team, saying she was expecting someone else. She tells Nick that if he wants Captain America, he's going to have to go through the Dryad first, and he won't be. Pointing a gun at him, she tells him that she lured him here in order to straighten him out, since he's been heading in the wrong direction. Captain America issue 13 was yet another fantastic issue that continues Steve's redemption story, but also made him begin questioning the team he is working on. I didn't enjoy that aspect with Steve, not too comfortable with being part of a group who kind of decides what laws are laws and such. It's an interesting faucet for Steve to have to deal with with this team, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of that being broached in future issues. The story with Peggy Carter is also really interesting and I'm looking forward to the inevitable meeting between her and Steve and how they will complicate things for them and I'm looking forward to that tension between Peggy, Steve and Sharon and how that will play out. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.